Okay, folks, I'm currently locked out of my office and everything that I need to do is in there. So um, I'm just gonna introduce this video really quick. I got the opportunity to meet with Mitchell Hora. He is the CEO of Continuum Mag and co-host the Fieldwork podcast with Zach Johnson, who is the millennial farmer. And he's located in Southeast Iowa and he'll introduce himself what he does. But I just had a super great opportunity while I was visiting my family in Iowa to um, go look at some of his fields and some of the practices that he's implementing. Um, some of what he's talked about on the Fieldwork podcast, I got to see it. And I'm like, no way, like this is all so cool because we don't do a lot of that like cover crop no-till stuff in Idaho. Um, it's still in like uh, very much the trial phases. I think there's a couple people that do it. Um, but a lot of people are probably pretty scared to jump on some new things. So hopefully you guys will learn something off of what he talks about. Um, I had a really great time. Thank you, Mitchell, for being my first victim for being interviewed. <laughs> I hope it wasn't horrible and I really learned a lot. So thank you. And I will show you guys uh, what we talked about now. Tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do. Yeah, so Mitchell Hora, I'm seventh generation farmer. This is my, my family's farm here in Southeast Iowa. Uh, we're outside of Washington, Iowa. We farm about 700 acres here, corn, soybeans, and this year we have about 85 acres of cereal rye. Uh, we've had barley, wheat, mustard, all kinds of different stuff. We started no-tilling in 1978 and using cover crops in 2013. Been really pushing on trying to get the soil health principles to work and, uh, and being able to just kind of innovate and lead. Um, I spend most of my time uh, running my company Continuum Ag, we're a soil health data company mm -hmm. and yeah Zach and I are, are now semi-professional podcasters. Semi-professional. <laughs> yeah. So you guys do these uh, the Haney test with Continuum Ag right? Yep. So can you explain a little bit what those are? And yeah so we utilize the Haney soil health test and we kind of specialized in that and the Haney test was developed by Dr. Rick Haney who um, is a USDA soil scientist. He actually grew up in Iowa okay. but he lives down in Texas now and the Haney test helps us to look at our soil's current assets. Okay. What's actually plant available in the soil versus a regular soil test looks at what's our soil's intermediate assets, what mm -hmm. should come available. Yeah. Well, I wanna know what the plant's actually seeing. Yes. Because that's what we are able to interact with, what that plant is able to use to help us to grow a crop. So we're looking at the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, micronutrients, pH, organic matter, um, but the key thing is that we're looking at the inorganic and the organic components. So like for nitrogen, we look at nitrate, ammonium, and most importantly, organic nitrogen, which is amino acids and proteins and enzymes and stuff like that. And that's where as you get your system to be more biologically driven, most of the nitrogen ends up in that organic form. Mm -hmm. Same thing on the phosphorus and stuff too. So I keep getting calls from guys taking spring nitrate tests this time of year. Yes. And they're like, my spring nitrate test has like five part per million nitrate in it. So like 10 pounds of nitrogen. Like what the heck's going on? I'm like, you're utilizing cover crop and you put on chicken litter or whatever. Yeah. Your nitrogen's not in the nitrate form. It's all in the organic form. It's all in this other portion. I mean, in regular soil sample, we completely miss it. Mm -hmm. The other key thing on the Haney test is it, we look at the water extractable organic carbon which is the plant root exudates, the sugar that the microbes eat. Yes. We can quantify that. And we also look at the biological activity to be able to see the actual workers that we've got. So we can see the workers, we can see the food source, and we can see the nutrients that are actually becoming plant available. Okay, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So then we, we help farmers and, and make variable rate fertility recommendations just using that. And yeah, now we've built the software around it and built a big data set. And, We've been doing weekly Haney testing oh, wow. for the last couple years because in a living system, the soil availability changes all the time okay. and we need a better understanding of that. So as we are helping farmers and as, as young people, we're helping them to be able to quantify what's going on in their soil, it should be changing all the time. Yes. It should be moving and those the nutrient availability is going to change and change the biological thing, activity is going to change just like it, when you're getting a, you know, going to the doctor, your numbers should be changing too. Yeah. <laughs> if your numbers don't change, that means you're dead. Exactly. <laughs> Same thing in the soil. If the numbers don't change, it's but dead. It's dead, yeah. So that's a big thing, you know, that I think farmers have to understand is looking at that soil as a living system, work with our soil, not against it, 
And for us, that means we've been able to decrease our synthetic fertilizer by 45% wow. and decrease our herbicides by up to 75% and still maintain record yields. Oh, that's awesome. We have to focus on profitability and utilizing the Haney test allows us the tools to really help move the needle and do that. Okay, sweet. Good Is there stuff. anything else you want to cover? <laughs> I think we covered it, yeah. covered it pretty well there. The, I mean, it's just, you know, for people that are, that are watching and stuff, it's definitely do some research on the Haney test. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been very, very interesting to see, and uh, and yeah, if I can help to dig yeah. through it or help to educate on it, happy to do so. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, great yeah. to have you out. Sweet. Okay. All right, there you have it. I learned a lot about soil health while I was out there. Um, super grateful for the opportunity they gave me to just like come and tag along on last minute notice. Um, literally called them the night before and was like, hey, I'm in town-ish. Like, can I come and visit you guys? And with like, I just cold called him like it was totally awesome how willing to work with you he is um so if you guys have any questions um or want to know more just let me know or yeah uh, mitchell is also on instagram um and you can find his company online Continu continuum ag to learn more about what they do so uh yeah thanks for watching and i hope you guys are learning new things because that is always a good thing so one more quick thing i will link continuum ags uh their website in the description um and probably their instagram as well so um until next time hasta la pasta <laughs>